next to it. I'm standing like I don't care. You know, good look at you. Yeah, I'm ready. When the logo drops, I'm up. Okay, so we're live. Uh, welcome to On Set on this Monday morning. I am Daniel Norton. We're going live this Monday. I know you guys usually see the pre-recorded videos, but we decided to do one live, um, have a little fun. We got Dave here, Wilma's helping us out. Um, and I wanted to kind of play around a little bit. I, I have this little notebook. I guess everybody has a notebook. It's in my, it's in my phone. It's called Notebook, interestingly enough. Um, and whenever I have like little ideas or I see a cool uh, thing, I just throw it in there. And this is gonna be kind of fun stuff that I wanted to do that I've seen or we talked about. Um, and we're gonna mess around a little bit with different portrait ideas, but I, I have this, um, we were, I was doing a, a shoot helping Seth, actually, uh, with the shoot, so if you check out my YouTube, you'll see that. Uh, we were shooting a Boba Fett, which is pretty cool, and he had all these different LED lights and stuff, and he had these really cool fairy lights, so I, I, you know, it seems like such a fun thing to play with, and we did something before where we used like holiday lights that have like the thicker cable and stuff, but these ones are really cool. They're like just uh, copper, so I wanted to do something with like lens flare, um, but then I wanted to take it a step further. I'm thinking, well, if I want to do their like little dots of light, I want to mess around. I know I have my dado light that I use all the time that I have the, uh, can I see the little adapter before? You know, you've probably seen me use this before. Um, we've got, uh, I do that right? This is uh, basically polka dots, which um, I can project, right? So if I take my dado, which with the projector, oh, um, oh, I even help, let me hold the right way so I can get my money. Good. No, they don't give me any money for that. They should, though. Dado, give me money for that. Anyways, uh, we're going to throw some dots on the background. First, I'm going to throw them on Wilma. Ultimately, I want to bring those lights in in some function, but I think I'm going to start uh, by doing this. Now, this is going to be a tungsten light, so I'm going to set my white balance on my camera. I am using a... Uh... Oh, I will speak slower. It is the morning, so... You just had your coffee. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. I'll pause so that the, the, all the words can catch up to where I'm at now. <laughs> all right. So I am, uh, it's a tungsten light source, so I'm going to change my white balance to tungsten, um, which is the one that looks like a light bulb. Depending on your camera, it may be called uh, various different things. And I'm using an 85 millimeter lens. This is the Canon 85 1.2. Um, and... I think because I, I'm shooting a subject that may move a little bit, I'm going to go to 400 ISO because I want to make sure I keep my shutter speed up a bit. So this is not going to be the brightest light in the world. Um, no, it's definitely not the brightest light in the world. Yeah, anyways, so I am tethered into Capture One over here. So we'll see the shots uh, as they come up and you guys can kind of see what we're getting. Hmm. No function, no. Yeah, this is why we do things live. It's always fun. Can you help we turn that on? Yeah. We did have a light bulb explode once during a live, which was really fun. <laughs> it was in a softbox. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, basically, this is a dado light, which is a small tungsten uh, fixture. It uses uh, spherical lenses, so um, it creates really, really nice kind of fine light, but it also has an attachment available, which is called a projector. Um, this projector allows you to put various things in it. You could put, if you were doing like an interview or corporate things, you could put uh, a logo on it. You could you put different uh, shapes and window patterns. We've used it when we did the video uh, on Noir. So if you check out that video from back in the day, you'll see Dave's cool hat. Um, we used it for that. <laughs> and in this case, we have polka dots. And, I, and because I'm gonna play around with uh, shallow dip the field, I think ultimately, and like little dots of light, I thought I'd start off with the polka dots. And I'm going to use them just as my main source on the wall right now. This is probably not going to be great, but we're just going to see what it looks like. Yeah. Because what's going to happen is if I expose for the, for the data, and we, we kill, there is some light in here. Maybe we'll kill this fluorescent stuff because I don't want to, it's going to get too dark. If it's too dark online, tell us and then I'll feel bad for you. It's like everybody, when you go to the dentist, they're like, if, tell me if it hurts, but they don't change anything. No, it's really dark. Okay. So I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to take a shot. It's really hard to meter this light because it's only uh, in that one spot, so I'm going to just take a guess. Uh, 125, 5.6, 400 ISO. I'm take a shot and just see what it looks like. Oh, actually, that's not too far off. And we can see here that that's like the right exposure for the actual dots, but we only see the dots, right? There's nothing else there. So 
Um, oh, it's really interesting though, because where it hits the gray background, it's kind of bluey gray. Where it hits her skin, it's like warm, and then it's green where the where the sweaters. It's kind of a cool abstract, but it's not at all a portrait. So um, there's a lot of ways that we could take care of that. We could just move her around a bit to get the light. Let's say maybe we can move you to get, or actually stay still just like you are. Dave, can you move the light up so that it's on her eyes? So we're actually using magazine tape. A magazine what? Magazine, Magma. Oh yeah, sure. Magmod makes um, kind of an adapter for speed lights that does a similar thing. And I think Lastolite also has something. Um, and you can get them for various strobes as well. That's oh, right there. Okay, so right now I'm just getting on her eyeballs. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a ski mask. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, we're going in kind of a weird direction. Actually, it'd be cool if I had two people because I could have somebody in the background like that, like almost hidden in the light. But we didn't plan for that, as, as often happens when things are alive. Um, but one of the better ways to do this is just to fill her in with something, right? We, so I do have a strobe, uh, Profoto uh, D2, yeah. and I've got my remote here. So I know my settings, 5.6, 400 ISO, 125. I'm going to leave those because that makes my light look good. And I'm going to bring the Beauty Edition. We'll probably bring it, maybe bring it in pretty close and just like kind of hit her with it and not the background so much. Uh, you want to go straight on or from there? Let's go like a bit of an angle, I think. We'll just start this way because I don't think I'm going to end this way. This is a beauty dish, Pro Photo Beauty Dish, equipped with uh, a piece of brown gaffer tape and also uh, a grid. Can't see you can't see the gaffer tape. Nobody, unless you come to New York and see this in person, you'll never see that brown gaffer tape that I always talk about. <laughs> I don't know why it's there, but it's been there for like years. It's like every piece of equipment I have has gaffer tape on it somewhere because you just start putting tape on things. Mm -hmm. It's the nature of the beast. Woman knows. The what? The dent. And there's a big dent in it, yes. Person. Can you just on it like yeah, down? well, no, you can do it there, I think. They're asking if we can gel this light. This one? The, the dado? Yeah. Sure, you could gel um, the dado light if you wanted to match the tungsten. Or you could gel the flash. I mean, it's tungsten. You could gel the tungsten light to make it match the flash. Or you could uh, gel the flash to match the tungsten, which is what I would really do because the flash is so much more powerful. When you start putting gels on lights, it eats a lot of light. So typically I would do it the other way, but you certainly could do that. I'm gonna move it a little closer. You're blocking some of the dots though. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to move the dots or actually, so, or the, the beauty dish? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. We're just getting a general idea here. Right, I'm gonna turn that all the ways down. What's it set at? Uh, six, six. All right, just bring it all, all the ways down here. Yeah. I just wanna get a hint of light. It's going, all right. So the light's turned all the ways down. It does have TTL capabilities, but if I use TTL, it's gonna just light her, which we don't really wanna do. I just want a little bit of fill on her. Wow, it's a lot of fill, even all the ways down. That's also a great expression you're making there. That's I love it. Picture. That's it. She's, she's, you're looking fantastic. Done. Now you notice this comes down to that gel question. She's super blue, and that's because we're set to tungsten white balance, um, which I kinda like. It's a little creepy. It's Monday. Why not? Okay, so let's try to get the dots right on her eyes again. Good. Let me move them over. Can you move your face a little bit this way, Wilma? Perfect. Um, when, you, when you do it, and it's then bring your chin down a smidge. Well, it's, it's just a right there. Oh, yes. oh, you blinked again one more time. Sorry. Here we go. I'll bring your face turned slightly this Right there. Here we go. Good. Cool. Double My double click is not working. I'm not surprised by that. Kind of interesting, and we can play around a little bit with the color, of course. Again, I can kick back to, is that what you were going to do, Dave? I'll just change it on the camera. I'm gonna change my white balance to flash just to show you guys the difference. And of course you could also pick a Kelvin in between and I am shooting raw, so we can mess around with this in post if we don't wanna you know, figure it out right now. And that would be the other way. It's also kind of interesting. And again, you could gel the lights to match them, but I kinda like that they're different colors. And I think I like her blue better. So I'm gonna make the choice to make her blue. I hate to make you blue, Wilma, but. Okay. So I'm back to tungsten. She's going to be blue. I'm just going to do a test shot to make sure it's good. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, kind of cool. Now, what I think I want to do, though, is um, I'm going to move you out of the polka dots, or towards me. Let's do that. So that they become your background instead. Yeah. Or actually, that's kind of cool. It's just touching you a little bit. Take a, take a step this way. Right there. Now I might want to put them on the other side, dude. The, uh... the flash, yeah. Just because it's more difficult now, now I'll ask you to do it. 
By the way, 99% of the time we use the, the, the battery powered lights, so you get so spoiled by it. <laughs> as soon as you have to plug something in, you're like, oh. Yes. So any, if there's any questions, uh, let me know. We're just kind of setting this up, doing pretty much the same thing. Can we back it up a smidge too? Because it was, it's, I want to get a little darker. And this is a, a Profoto beauty dish with the grid. They only make the one grid. I think it's 25 degrees. That's nice. Bring your chin up a smidge right there. Perfect. The air conditioner is coming on. As, as needed. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's actually kind of cooler, right? I kind of like that you're blue. Yeah, do I people like that she's blue? Because if you don't like that, I could change it. Because <laughs> I, I, I do that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to do this till we Yeah. I'm also going to make this. Yes, Dave will make it better. The, the key really to lighting is that Dave just fixes it. So all you gotta do, purchase one Dave with each set of light. Yeah, it does have a very disco vibe. We're totally going in a different, I'm actually gonna do it differently than I was, as always live, I change things. We're gonna go out of order. Let's, let's, I'm gonna switch lenses. This is the 85 1.2 and I was thinking to maybe shoot really shallow, but I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference but make the dots blurry, which isn't gonna be that interesting, but I do have, Dun, da, da, da. Lens baby, yeah, you can turn the lights on. I have this lens baby that I picked up. Lens baby. And uh, if you're old like Seth, you remember when lens baby was like this little accordion that you just swooshed together. This thing is like deluxe. So you can basically, uh, if you've never seen a lens baby before, it's a lens. This one is the sweet spot or something like that one. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Um, but essentially you can bend it, and you know, I'm not even breaking it when I do that. So you can create kind of weird uh, focus situations, like almost like a tilt shift, but also this is the sweet 50, which means that the center of the lens is very sharp, but the, uh, the exterior of it is kind of blurry, so it's gonna create like this uh, dreamy feel, which I think will be cool with the polka dots. This one happens to be Canon mount, and I'm using a Canon camera, so that works out. Okay, it's actually, Aperture's right here on the front. We're shooting 5.6, so I will set it to 5.6. Uh, yeah, you can leave them on for a sec. I'm gonna move closer because it's a 50. It's a 50. Okay. And I have to manually focus, so that should be fun. Good, good, good. All right, here we go. It's Monday and I'm manually focusing and talking so slowly. All right, we'll turn the lights off now. I'm getting a note on my, my wrist. Nobody ever calls me on my wrist until I'm doing a live stream. All right, here we go. Oh, interesting. It's a bit dark though. Which, which tells us that, by the way, if you watched his video about... Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> dark, but then... Yeah, I'm definitely focused there and not on her eyes, yeah. He's gonna call me out on the eyes being out of focus. But yeah, you can see where the sweet spot is, so I gotta play with that now. It's not even out of focus, it's the sweet spot is in the center. Yeah. So you gotta play around with that. I probably, you can't do a Daniel top out, crop off the top of the head composition. All right, good. I'm focusing here. Nice, here we go. I also opened up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I love that. That's kinda cool. Oh, right, yeah, the little navigator loop, so we can see if it's... Seth wants to call me out on my unsharp images as we go through. trying to show the sharp points. I gotcha. It's, uh... It's over here, right? I shouldn't touch things. I'll let them do it. So, we're going to play with this. Since since I'm getting good reaction from the model, I'll, I'll shoot more than one, so that way we definitely have a good one. Good. Focusing. Good. Yeah. And I guess we could play with part of your face being out of focus. Now, now I'm gonna twist, shift where the sweet spot is. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. What's interesting about this though is because the way that the, the lens is designed, I guess, it's not like an actual tilt shift. So it's kind of got real cool, like a like, uh, personality to it that, that's a little different. Oh, yeah. you got like a single squint going on there for some reason. Let's try that uh, again. Because I'm weird. Yeah, well, you are. Aren't we all? All right. So basically, oh, there we go. Hold on. Now I'm doing something really weird. Good, good, good. 
think it's focusing. Wow. A hair light? I don't think we're going to do a hair light for this one. Yeah, not yet anyways. All right, cool. Try to work slightly towards this light so I can get, yeah. I want to get more, oh yeah, one of the dots on that eye. There we go. Like that? Yep, perfect. Because I'm playing around with the way that it's taking, it's handling mm -hmm. the dots. Cool. So basically we've got this kind of really interesting like blur going on on the one side of her face. Yeah. It's, it's starting to look like more creepy, which we go for. That's what we like with, uh, with Wilma. We go for the creepy thing. Uh, anyways, but what I really wanted to play with, I said this at the beginning, I don't know what camera I'm looking at, this one. Um, I want to play with these fairy lights. They're really cool. You can get them not in that around, unfortunately. Maybe we'll start selling them, who knows. Um, they're, instead of being like typical kind of holiday lights, they're, I'm just going to bring them over here. They're on like this copper wire, which I think is really cool and will probably pick up the light nicely. And they're on a little spool there. Don't touch that part, I guess. And yeah, we'll see what they do. So let's plug these bad boys in. So I think my plan, yeah, exactly. My plan is gonna be to take this. By the way, if anybody has any of these, I don't know why this has two cords coming off of it. I can't figure it out. Because one goes to the remote. Yeah. And that is the remote. Okay, so this, is really long. By the way, if you're like a really, you know, want to have like a cool ambiance in your room, your bedroom or something, this is probably a good thing to have too, mm -hmm. right? Woman's got these strung up all over her whole house. You follow like a path of them. Do you think I'm a fairy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like there's almost too much. T tune in to watch me unroll things. Next week on Onset, we'll unroll the fairy lights. All right, there we go. <laughs> By the way, I was warned that I probably should have done that first, and I didn't do it, so yeah. my fault. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use the remote to turn it on. Are you now? Fail. Are they plugged in? No. Right. Let's test it. OK. Right. Is it on the remote? Nothing like doing it live. Yep. No remote. Okay. Go. That's what you get for buying discount stuff from a, an online dealer. Okay, so now I think what we want to do with this mm -hmm. is I don't want to go too crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we want to actually put some, we'll start with doing this where you're going to like hold a bunch of it and we're going to stretch it out towards the lens because what I want to do is create flare in the front. Do you want to put hang them from this? Yeah, exactly. Oh, there it is. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking to myself, I know Dave got a C stand, I just don't know where it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then because they're so close to the lens, they're definitely going to create really cool flares. And we won't get, I don't think anyways, let me just, yeah, let's cut the lights. Let's do a quick test. Oh, there was a blink there. That's okay though. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That's super cool. Yeah, now, I think we need more of it, though. We have so much. Let's try to get more. You get more in your hands. Yeah. Like, get a whole bunch of it. Yeah, yeah. Take those fairy lights. I will. Own it. Work it. All right, good. Oh, but they got to be stretched out towards me more, otherwise they'll be in a focus. Yeah, exactly. Good, good, good. Actually, let's get more up here. What, what I think I'm liking about these is that they are kind of this metallic... So you can just kind of wrap them around stuff. And what we're going to do, okay. Oh, you took the dots off her completely? Yeah. I wasn't trying to do that, but. Okay, that seems like what happened. So now, I'm just kind of putting these, good, good, good. I took most of the blurry part off the lens, baby, because I feel like there's a lot of things going on, so I don't want to go too crazy. Good, here we go. So I might, uh, well, that's kind of interesting. You know what I'm thinking though? It's a little bit dark behind her. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to, 
What? Yeah. Gotta get my dots. Yeah, it's hard, like. Okay. Now, with the remote, we could have uh, got the, the, the lights to be less powerful, but we can't do that because the remote's not working. Because I think our, our, we have a balance of power now. Yeah. Let's just put the data on the background, like, much closer so it'll get brighter. Okay. So instead of getting the lights on her, which is what I was doing, uh, I'm just going to put that on the background because we need the power, right? you got to work with what you got. So we're going to put that on the background, and I'm going to look through the camera so I can see it. Bring them up a little bit, Dave. That's good. Perfect, perfect, right there. Yeah. All right. Let me just test my exposure. You can keep them sharp, whatever's the brightest. There we go. I'm just doing a quick test. There we go. Now they're behind her. Now we just got to get this looking good. And I'm going to use a little bit of the lens baby shift now to get myself a little bit of kind of movement going on here. Okay. So I think maybe you have your hands closer to you and I'll hold this towards me so that they're like stretching out. Yeah, exactly. Now, actually, did you, uh. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's probably not dangerous. Let me focus first. Okay, stay still. Good, 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 like that. And I'm going to move the lights up into the shot. Coolio. That might be blocking your eyes too much. Let me just see. Oh, that's kind of interesting. That good. Cool. All right. So I kind of shifted so that the blur is at the bottom so I can keep her at the top of the frame like I like to do. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way, I'm gonna focus, okay. So I'm gonna shoot a few, so just once I get focused, stay in one spot, and I'll mess around with the lights a little bit. Okay, so we'll drop the lights down, hold still. So whenever you're doing like weird focus effects like this, mm -hmm. you gotta kind of keep yourself, you know, work a little slower. Okay, so we're in focus, so stay there. Let's play around. So she's gonna stay, and I'm gonna shoot a few different series with the lights in different spots. See what we're getting. Put my hands on that one for sure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, can we do that actually? Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Good um, idea. We'll raise this up. Okay, we're gonna twist now and make things better. If we put this... This is by the way how I decorate for the holidays. I just like put a camera up. You know, a lot of people put, you know, various things, trees or whatever. I just put a camera on a tripod. You know, it it's works for me. Oh. See, this, this takes it much closer. Yeah. yeah. Get a little more control over that. Yeah, perfecto. And then this. And then we just need to get some to her. Oh, 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 that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, wow. Okay. This, this is either going to be the best thing I've ever done or the worst thing. It's really hard to say at this point. <laughs> Let's see, we're moving the strobes, so we'll see what that looks like. Oh, Blinky, that's okay. Hi, Blinky. Oh, cool, yeah, we're, get, we're getting like some, some, some movement. I don't know if I like it too. So that's creating like ovals. I'm going to change that because maybe I like it a bit more around. And what's cool is you can actually see through the light, like through the lens rather as I'm shifting it, the shape that they're taking. Good, good, good. Hold, hold, mold. Perfect. Hold. All right, now, just because, all right, I hate to do this, but let's try that remote again. I gotta, I gotta make it work, because I need these to be less bright. Oh, yeah. there's a battery in the remote? Yeah, oh, then forget it then, all right. Because these can be turned down in power, so apparently you can only use them once, and then the battery dies in the remote. <laughs> <laughs> this is my story of my life. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I like that it's creating like a bit of a swirl. Good, 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 good. Nice, okay. Oh, interesting. Switch what? Yeah, if you've got a battery, we'll try it. Otherwise, we're just gonna shoot one or two more. Uh, any questions? I think we're kinda got, what's interesting about this is we got something completely different than I thought we were gonna get. <laughs> I thought I was going for kind of an airy, like fairy look, and we instead have this kind of like nighttime kind of uh, moody. Oh, I don't know how close this focus is. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, I probably don't need that. Oh, no, I do need it. Uh, okay. No matter how much space you have and when you're doing photography, you never have enough. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow, this focus is really close, too. Oh, interesting. Wow, but, cool. but I lose the data in the background when I do that. So I need to. Oh, cool. Okay. So I moved the dado out a little bit so I could get more behind her because now that I'm closer, it's hard for me to. I think that's in focus. Oh, yeah. We just need, well, now we just need more light in her face. More light! Okay. You only need. Uh, Oh, that's cool. Good, good, good. Hold still, focusing. Perfecto. Good, good, good. Here we go. Oh, interesting. Oh, your hand is blocking the the oh, the, the shrub. Why. One more ruined it. I good, know. good, good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was it's very cool. Actually, can we? Even though you took so much time to make your hair so beautiful, can you just pull it back maybe yeah. to get more face? I need more face. Perfect. Because basically with the dark hair and no light behind her, it's going super dark, so I'm just trying to get as much skin. Good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, now that's perfect. Let me get one good focus. I'm just going to move the light around, the lights around, I should say. Wow. That's really cool. Looking for more lights. They're all over here. They're hiding behind. Oh, they're on me. <laughs> good, good, good. Nice. And I think I'm going, I've got a pretty fast shutter speed, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to do this as I'm shooting. Okay, that's terrible, so don't do that. Good. All right, I'm going to swap it out real quick. <laughs> yep, we're swapping. Oh. We didn't pay our electric bill. We're swapping, you're in a bad picture. I need a good one. Quick, 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 good picture. All right, that'll be good enough. Nope. I think I, nope, nothing. All right, I think it's just, oh, oh. there we go. Now hit it down to like 50%. Yeah, is it the, the, the 50, right? Yeah. Okay, so these are dimmable uh, in a certain way. So we, I turned them down to 50%. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to get the dado brighter proportionately. So since I can't make it brighter, I can make these dimmer, and then I can just go with a slightly longer shutter. Okay, 20% now. 20%, perfect. You're at 20%. I'm going to do this is just a test to see brightness. Hold them up to your face. Good. It's not going to be in focus because I moved, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, see the dado is slightly brighter now, comparable. I need the dado, though, to be... I moved, so... That's perfect. That little box, I think, is the receiver. No, 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 no. no that little that cord on the other end, right there. Oh, that's the receiver. Oh, that's the receiver. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, cool. Cool. Got it. I went down to 10%. All right, so that's 10% now. I'm going to go to a 30th of a second, so we'll be a little bit slow. Here we go. I also twisted it. Oh, you blanked again. Yeah. Oh, nice. There we go. Now the data is getting brighter. Good, good, good. Now it's got to get a good focus. Actually, can we get... I'll do it like this. So what I'm going to do here is, um, I'm going to try anyways, because it's not going to work. Let me turn the modeling line on for a second so I can focus, and then we'll go through the series of them. So get in a good spot. Yeah. Oh, that's why. That makes sense. Yeah, now I can see it. That's cool. Let me just focus. Actually, drop them down for a second, but stay in the same position. I just want to get a focus on your face. So I'm kind of pre-focusing here. That's good, thanks Dave. Perfect. So there's two things here. It's like getting the focus, but also picking the spot that you want to be in focus. Actually, can you drop the lights a little bit lower, Wilmer? Right there. Good, good, good. I'm going to focus on that eye. So I'm, I'm finding that sweet spot, as they say. Okay. We could try that. Okay, so... Let's start here, though. I'm at a 30th of a second, so I'm definitely dragging more than I was before. You can kill that. Thanks, Dave. All right, let me just see what this looks like first. Okay, so that's a 30. And but now let's get the lights up closer to you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we've got the dados. 
Okay, the problem is, is I, I should have focused on your other eye. Turn slightly this way. Right there, good. Okay, it's all about finding the right spot. Move your lights closer to me, Wilma. There we go. Actually, instead of doing that, just hold a little bit of them and we're gonna stretch them. So Dave, maybe I'll use your help here, Dave. Can you hold them like this? Like pull them towards the lens, almost like I'm shooting through a tunnel. You can stay where you are. Like that, exactly. I wanna create like a, a, yeah, exactly like this, somewhere in this vicinity. Good, 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 okay. Well, Seth, can you give me this, the house lights for a second? I'm sorry. Seth, house lights. Can you, it's house lights, sorry. Just so I can see, I can't see anything. Okay, focusing through. Do you want me to just do the mono? Modifier? I can do it. What, turn the mono light on from there? Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. I just, I want to make sure I get a focus because this is really tricky. Okay, that's it. Your eyes in focus, I think. Oh, there we go, that's nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let me just Perfect, okay. Good like that. Kill that, let me try it. Good, chin up a little bit. Yeah, turn off the, yeah. There we go. So now we'll try to get some jiggle uh, in the lights. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm shooting at a 30th. We're gonna move the, ball, the, the lights a little bit and see if we get, Can yeah, so we're getting a little bit of blur. Yeah, we're moving, right? Uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, thank you. Hold on, I gotta move the, the sweet spot. They're good. I gotta go like this, I think. There we go. Is that in focus? That there we focused. go. Okay, good. <laughs> I like it with the yeah, actually, with the modeling light, you get uh, this. Right, leave the modeling light on. Yeah. yeah, just turn it down a little bit. So if you turn the modeling light on, it would get more neutral color, and if we actually uh, turn it down a bit, though, so it's not, so we get almost like a mix, because I'll still use a flash. Yeah. Good, good, good. Oops, sorry. You know what, then? Hmm? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna open the lens up, too, because why not? I'm gonna go to 2.5 on the lens, because I don't think the movement really was helped us at all, so I'm gonna go faster on the shutter to balance that out. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's kill the modeling light first. Actually, no, leave it on, you're good. Let me just look. I went to 2.5, it's gonna be way blown out with the flash. Wow. Ah, there we go. So being wide open on this lens with that sweet spot really amplifies it, so I think I'm gonna try a few like that. Do you like to just kill the flash? Okay. Yeah, let's just kill the flash, because I think it's down as low as it goes. And we'll just use the modeling. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect to not move. Oh, and then I moved it. Do you see how I just did that? <laughs> I'm still gonna blame you. <laughs> good, good, good. Nobody saw me move it. How's that, exposure-wise? Too dark, right? Yeah. I need more model. I need more light. Oh, shit. That's probably too much. Go, 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 down, 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 right there. I'll just, I'll, I'll adjust to that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, light. And then I'm just gonna give myself a shutter. So I'm going 60th of a second now. At 400 ISO at 2.5, which is the, the widest this lens goes. So we're gonna definitely be fighting this focus, and I'm using that sweet spot ability to get different parts of our face in focus and out of focus. To kind of play around with what looks interesting. Oh yeah, there we go. Are they too bright? Mm. I kind of liked your blue, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do, do we like our blue? A midpoint, well, all right. We'll mess around with it in, in post, because again, we're shooting raw, so we can kind of mix around. Good, good, good. That's it. Let's shoot a couple more. How's that focus? Good, good, good. That, you look good. Oh, actually, with the lens, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, you blinked too, right? And I did it. It's funny, there's like one spot that's like super sharp focus. It's really fun. Move your face this way slightly. There we go. That's good. If I play around with that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm change the position of the lens. What does that look like? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's camera shake, though. 
All right, let me try that. Look, do that same thing, but I want to get it the right spot. I gotta find this. I gotta find the sweet spot. There it is. Here we go. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm using all of that. And I think just the final things, I think I kind of like this. Can we get the data on that side of her? So I get all dots on that side. Yeah, and then we're gonna, so we get all dots reaching over. I move the sweet spot over here. Good, lower those lights a little bit one more. There we go, that's it, look fairy-ish. Oh, <laughs> I totally just motor-drived it. I don't even think I'm on the motor drive. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and of course it blinked. We have to, we have to end with a good one. Oh, you moved the lights. I you didn't, saw her move the I lights. I did move the lights. Yeah. That's <laughs> we had it. <laughs> you had 13 jobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Last one. I just want some over here. Actually, Dave, could you? Yep, perfect. All right, good. And then there's one in front of her eye. I'm going to turn. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Focusing. This is it. Give me the fairy look. Good. Whatever the. Oh, 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 that's all right. That's okay. There we go. And did you just swear on that around TV? <laughs> She totally swore. You heard her, right? All right. <laughs> That's the face of Wilma swearing when she was on Anorama TV. <laughs> yeah. I know. Okay. Okay, so cool. Uh, hopefully, uh, this kind of inspired you to play around with some cool stuff. Um, if you don't have a, a lens baby, because this is kind of a, uh, you know, it's not an inexpensive thing, you just want to mess around, there's a few things you can do to get this kind of uh, soft focus look around the edges. You could take a plastic bag and cut the bottom out and put it in front of your lens so you're shooting through plastic. We actually did a video on that. Um, and, or you could lens whack, which I'm not supposed to authorize or recommend, but where you take the, you uh, loosen the lens from the camera and you, you can mess with it that way. Don't do that. It's kind of cool. Don't do that though. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can play around with it. Um, and again, not everything has to be a professional light. You know, sure, we have the pro photo lights, whatever. These are very inexpensive uh, fairy lights and uh, they're pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and I'll see you next time on set.